Apple has made some, some strong technology stances in the last year as far as compatible peripherals across our product lines. And one of our directions is towards the Sony three and a half inch disk drive. But as odd as it sounds, this is not a, not a technology that was pioneered by Apple. If you remember, Osborne had the three and a half inch monitor. <laughs> Mouse technology is one of the big, the big uh, pushes this year at Apple, but uh, we had mouse technology back five years ago. It was usually a little, a little furry critter running underneath our cassette tapes. <laughs> um, in the early days of computers, we put out a very basic computer. It was just a raw little board with 4K of memory and a microprocessor and a keyboard, and it talked to your home TV, and it had a bunch of slots, but it was really, it couldn't do anything. There was not one program that would somehow do something useful for you. And we put it out to the world and said, start exploring. What are the proper printers that are inexpensive? We didn't know what items were going to belong with personal computers back then. So we threw open this computer and said, everybody start doing whatever you can with it. And eventually, the whole definition of what a personal computer was evolved from that. It wasn't that we had very clear thinking that we were trying to impress upon the world what the personal computer has become today. We didn't really see it that way. We just sort of were a part of this massive thing that started happening because largely driven for economic reasons. It was finally very, very uh, inexpensive. The users set almost all the standards as to what, so what do we want in the way of a personal computer? What kind of keyboard? What kind of resolution on the screen? What, how, much, how important is color? Um, what sort of printers in what price range? These were defined by users. 